So I'm wearing like a, I don't need my fling to be too hot. It's just a sort of like fluffy like that. And I'm gonna weigh down my um, my glass with a kiln brick. Weighing that down the glass is really important. And now I'm just gonna start to trace um, along the along the drawing. So I'm not doing sharp angles, I'm doing curves. So I wanna heat it and curve it really gently. So I, I'm not heating one spot. I'm heating just, I'm going back and forth with the flame and heating a larger section so I can get a nice gentle curve and a gentle bend. The glass should never be so hot that it really glows a lot. In fact, if you're heating it so much that it glows in one spot, it's gonna it's gonna mess with your shape and your shape will not be really smooth. So the less you can heat it and just heat it enough to bend, it'll make your shape much cleaner and smoother. This is what we're thinking about when we're working with smooth organic forms like this. I'm coming around and doing the divot at the bottom of the apple. rearrange my bricks. And again, I'm torching it from the side as much as I can rather than from the top. And I'm also holding this stick as flat as I possibly can. I don't want to hold it like that because then the glass will get really wonky. So the lower you can hold the rod, the better it will be for your form. So now I'm crossing the stick over, so it's a little bit higher, so I wanna just keep it as low as I can and then we can deal with that. Make it uh, flat when we finish this part off. Now I'm rounding back to the beginning and I'm going to melt off the hunty or the first handle and then melt the two forms together. Give myself a handle and fuse it on so I can pick it up and adjust it. I'm going to put my handle in a location that I know I will not need to readjust. Sometimes when you torch the shelf, specifically with the torches on this side of the room, um, they will oh, terrible noise. It will blow itself out if it's too low. So that's why it's important to have a strike on hand. All right, so here's our rough apple shape. So let's clean it up a little bit.
So I want to clean up here where it's joined because it's um, mushy. And then it's a little asymmetric at the bottom, so let's just fix that. It's okay if you need to do some cleaning up off the kiln shelf. It's good to try to do as much as you can when it's lying flat, but anything you need to do now is also fine. So I'm going to start by cleaning this section. Um, so can we talk about the swipe technique a little bit? Great. So I'm going to use the swipe technique here and I'm going to just heat the thick part. I'm going to try not to heat the bottom of this and it's going to be really exact because it's a very small amount of flat. So we're going to use a very small flame and try to be very um, careful with where we, where we heat it. So get the excess glass hat. I like to have a little glass bucket here so I can tap off um, the excess from the swipe because it gets the rod dirty pretty quickly. To be cold? Yeah. Yeah, it's cold. Aren't you heating it up? I'm heating this this part, not this part. Okay. You want it to be cold if you're removing glass. Okay. You know, like gravity, even it out, hold it, uh, let the thick part flow into the thin part. It's still a little thick on this side right here, so I'm going to be very try to go exact and swipe it to be even. I'm going to heat here and try to make that divot a little stronger. Cool. So now let's fix the bottom part of the apple. work like this, I really try to use as few tools as possible because the glass and the heat plus the gravity will be enough to do a lot of the shaping and it's a lot more subtle and you can be more precise. So I'm just letting gravity stretch this divot so I want to bring that part out. That's good. Now I'm going to do the same for this side. see how quickly it, it all happens. This is a graphite reamer and it's a good tool for when we're doing rod stuff like this because it will not add too many marks onto the glass. It's a lot more gentle with it than the, you like your tweezers will be. Okay great so here's our apple shape and so I'm pretty happy with that for right now. So what we're going to do to do the other sides is we're going to just trace the two halves of the apple again and then we can put them on the other opposite sides of the apple to create like a line of wires. Okay, so what I'm going to do now just to be extra fancy is I'm going to retrace the apple because it's slightly bigger, it just ended up being slightly bigger than the drawing. And now the drawing doesn't matter because this is my template. So I'm going to retrace it real quick my template. Do it again. This is way 
Trying to make it so you can see anything in the video. It's kind of hard. Everything is in my way. Okay. So I'm just going to retrace the whole thing, but you can also just do it in two halves because we're going to take it apart anyway. I'm doing it in one form right now because it got a little wonky from earlier because I had to like, you know, move everything while the glass was hot, like that torch and stuff. So I'm just not entirely happy with the form. So if I can close it, then I can smooth it out before moving on to the next step. I'm always trying to heat and then bend the further up section. Like heat one section, never bend it in the flame, but like heat a little, little bit further up and then bend it slightly further back. I'm going to flatten it. It's 